What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you're having a great thirsty Thursday in about an hour and a half. We'll have football on, you know, XFL. We're probably going to be watching it. I don't know if I'll live stream or not with it, but we'll definitely watch some of it. Maybe we'll do a little short live stream just to hang out with you guys. Um, we have news because this is the time of the year that basically there's a little over two weeks of time that teams have to do due diligence and get underneath the salary cap. And so teams are going to start jettisoning some contracts and some players to get that cap room. They're going to start reworking some contracts and things like that. So start over the next couple of days, you're going to be seeing a lot of big names with guys that still have, have something in the tank to play for um, being released. One of those teams that went out and signed everybody that the Eagles didn't was the Rams. And the Rams an hour ago, here's this is Adam Shafter, uh, the Rams and all and nine-time All-Pro Bobby Wagner mutually have agreed Thursday the part ways sources tell ESPN. Rams need more cap space, and Wagner wants to win. He will now be a notable part of this year's free agent class. So the thing that a lot of people said last year was, you know, he's done. He's spent. You know? It's too much money because we know Cat Boy isn't signing anybody. Well, the thing about what happened with him last year was, and let's take a look at his contract, shall we? This was the contract he had signed a five-year, $50 million deal, which sounds like a lot, but it really goes by how much money is guaranteed. Now, with this being a mutual departing, we don't know if he tore up the contract or how it's going to work as far as the numbers go, but as it stands right now, because the way they did the, the, the prorated uh, bonus and the signing bonus and stuff, if you look at this, his base salary was one and a half million dollars the first year, which went up to seven and a half million. The prorated bonus is one million. The guaranteed salary is one and a half million dollars. So his cap number was only two and a half million dollars the first year. It ballooned up to twelve and a half million this year, which for what they got for him is not bad. Now, technically, the way the dead money was supposed to be is seven and a half million dollars if it's a pre-june 1st and this is a pre-june 1st giving them only five million dollars of cap space so he is now a free agent let's take a look because i know what people are going to say man he's old he's old man he's done i'm not going to say that he's the bobby wagner of old but let me say this much let, let's go through the numbers from pro football focus here he had 89 solo tackles which was tied for 20th in the NFL. He had 44 assists, which is third in the NFL. Interceptions by a linebacker, he had two. That's tied for fourth in the NFL. And he also had six sacks. Six sacks, two interceptions, 140 total tackles. That's not as many as he had the year before when he had 170. I will grant you that. But you're talking about a guy who knows the system better than anybody else. And I'm not sure what the contract number. Let me look up sports track because they'll give you a market value. But then again, it's probably too soon. Let's see if they have his market value. Because um, I dare say that he might still be worth it. And the thing is, he's looking for a ring. Yeah, they don't have a market value listed on here for him. Um, I don't know what his, his demands would be. But if his thing is, is I want to win now. I want to win now. Um, and be part of a team that has a chance to go to the Super Bowl. I think that this is somebody that the Cowboys need to look at because, you know, we have Damone Clark coming back, of course, which, you know, he, he getting on the field was good, but he's really an, an offside linebacker. You've got Leighton Van Der Esch. Now, Leighton Van Der Esch, let me see, he is a free agent.
you could look at this. Um, you could look at this as an upgrade because even an older Bobby Wagner. Now his contract was only two and a half million dollars last year. Um, you could look at this as a big upgrade. And even if you only did this for two years, um, I would say this would be a worthwhile move if you go ahead and, and get yourself some cap relief because you put Bobby Wagner there with, oh my God, you put Bobby Wagner in the middle, you get Damone Clark on the backside, and you do that, and if you can go ahead and get yourself a defensive tackle, that defense will be lights out and much better at run stopping, which is one of the problems that we have is run stopping. Um, and it was clear when Van Der Esch went out and got hurt how much we missed having that linebacker. So we'll see if there's a Cowboys have any interest and stuff on here. This is just a breaking news story that just popped out. And um, there's, of course, uh, questions being now. Let's see. We got a... da 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 Da, da, da. Damn, Gina. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Um, people are talking about that, of course, that, you know, the Cardinals may be looking to create some space, some cap room as well, and letting go or, I'm sorry, trading DeAndre Hopkins. And that's a name that you've heard with the Cowboys as well. You're going to hear about a lot of players that may be, of course, linked to the Cowboys. Everybody is always linked to the Cowboys because we're America's team. And it's going to get the biggest publicity from everybody um, if you talk about the Cowboys. Um, Hopkins, you know, if you can get a trade for him for a – I mean, if you can get a trade for him for a number two, which I doubt, that would be – you know, I'd go for that in a heartbeat because most of our second-round picks don't work out real well. They just don't. So we'll see about some of these other players that are going to be released, uh, that teams are interested in trading. A lot of times teams will say, well, we're going to try and trade them or release them. And it ends up being nobody trades for them because they're just going to wait till you release them. All right, good people. We'll see what cat boy and, and crew does. Um, yeah, we're going to see what cat boy and crew does and we'll see if, uh, what's going to happen. I, I think, we might see something with Zeke Elliott um, happen sooner than later because that may be one of the ways that they go ahead and start getting some of this cap room. Um, it's $5 million now, or it's about $10 million if they wait till June 1st. But expect the Cowboys to start making some moves soon. All right, good people. I will see you later. Peace.